I was surprised when I first saw the Gable House. I thought that the team from Illinois had made a solar barn. But after asking one of the team representatives what their guiding purpose was, I was quite impressed. People walk down the mall, they see the house, and they feel that it's from the Midwest, and specifically Illinois. So, you know, to really uh, emphasize that point, we went with uh, the siding on the, the outside of the house is all reclaimed barn wood from one of the, the architecture students' uh, old grandparents' barn that was about to be de demolished. Um, all the, the wood for the deckings reclaimed from a grain silo outside our university. So you really get this, um, you know, the old wood and old feeling on the outside and then as you transition to the inside you get a more modern newer rapidly renewable type resource for uh, the materials in the house but don't be fooled by this home's midwestern appeal as this shot of the roof will show you with its solar panels this house is anything but typical Here you can see the iconic gable for which this house is named. You can also see the LED lighting used in this house. An interesting fact about this lighting is that it is all computer controlled and can be made to light up in a variety of ways. In fact, everything in this house is computer controlled. It even comes with this built-in control panel. The kitchen of the gable house featured an induction stove, which uses a magnetic field to produce heat, and an amazingly large refrigerator given the size of the house. The spacious dining area was also surprising, especially given that many of the other houses didn't even have a table. The Gable House runs off of solar power. I asked one of the house representatives to tell me more about the power systems. All the houses are grid tied, which means during the day when we're producing excess electricity, we, uh, we send it to the grid and we basically get a credit for the electricity we sent. Um, then at night when we pull from the grid, you know, like a tradi traditional house, we'd actually be taking our credit back that we gave during the day. So that we, you know, over the course of the year, we'd be, um, we'll actually produce more uh, energy than we'll consume getting money back from the grid. The hot water system of the Gable home, for which it took first place in the hot water contest, was designed to work in concert with both the heating and ventilation systems of the house. The house is also passive house certified, which means that while using little energy, it is also almost airtight. To achieve this, the walls are incredibly thick and are built using bamboo, a more easily renewable resource than wood. Finally, the gable house appeared spacious and comfortable, especially since it was one of the few homes that stayed dry on this rainy day. I can see why this house got second place overall.